Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for July 24th. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, July 24th, 1916, Garrett Morgan, an African American, used the gas mask that he invented to rescue 32 men. They were trapped in an underground tunnel after an explosion. In 1912, Morgan had invented the safety hood, also known as the gas mask. The device had a hood that was attached to a long tube with an opening for air and a second tube with a valve that exhaled air. Morgan and his brother Frank entered the tunnel wearing safety hoods. They were able to carry out the men. Also, on this day in 1969, Jennifer Lopez was born. Lopez is an actress who started her career off dancing in musicals. Later, she appeared in several television series and then in many movies. And on this day in 2005, Lance Armstrong ended his cycling career with a seventh consecutive Tour de France victory. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word abracadabra. Now, if you've ever seen a magic show, you've probably heard a magician say abracadabra while waving a wand and casting a spell. The word abracadabra comes from hundreds of years ago when it was written on pieces of linen cloth. People wore the cloth pieces around their necks in order to ward off serious diseases, including the plague. Hey, imagine if your doctor told you to wear a necklace to stay healthy instead of taking medicine or eating well. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, how far is the longest frog jump ever recorded? Well, frog jumps are usually recorded in three leaps. And in 1977, a South African sharp-nosed frog covered 33 feet, 5.5 inches in his three leaps, and that's 10.3 meters. That means that he jumped further than the length of two school buses. South African sharp-nosed frogs have long, strong legs, which allow them to jump so far. Their pointy, sharp noses help them to be more aerodynamic. They're yellowish green with brown stripes, but they're only about two inches or 5.5 centimeters long. Health tips. <laughs> Building strong muscles is important to your health. And here's a fun exercise you can try. It's called the gazelle graze, and this exercise is good for your leg and arm muscles. You begin by standing with your legs in a wide walking position. Your right leg is in front. Keep your arms at your side and look forward. Lift your left knee and right arm upward. Keep your right elbow slightly bent. Then return to the starting position. Lift your right knee and your left arm. Keep going as you gazelle graze around the room. I Here's an interesting fact. Almost half of the trash in United States landfills is made up of cardboard and paper. Now, I bet you know about recycling paper. I mean, doesn't everybody recycle? Well, the truth is only one quarter of the paper and cardboard used in the United States gets recycled. Not only could we reduce the amount of land that we make into landfills, but we could save trees if we recycled more paper. And every little bit makes a difference. If you don't have a paper recycling program at your school, you could ask your class if they'd like to start one. Now, it takes some work, but you could save a lot of trees and feel good about helping your school make less trash every week. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow.